welcome back to another vlog week five and it is Monday morning and uh, I'm starting my week uh, very healthy and very strong because I'm going to the doctors to make a blood test it's like a general big uh, blood test to see if I have any insufficiencies etc I have been feeling really tired the last few months so I thought I have to take it under control and make a blood test and kind of see what is happening with me maybe i'm just missing some vitamins maybe there's something deeper underneath it i made an appointment a few weeks ago it always takes a while in germany with doctors but uh, today is the day i cannot say i'm like happy to go here because uh, no one likes to go to doctors or do blood tests or stuff like that but i am happy to be taking this problem under control and to see what is going on i'm gonna drive to the office after this as well but i will keep you updated and tell you if I don't know, something unusual happens or whatever. But yeah, this is your kind of a reminder. Take care of your health. As I said, I think in the first vlog of the year, this year is the year to take care of your health. Make all the appointments. Don't delay it because better to know about anything earlier than later. So go do that doctor's appointment, whatever it is. Okay, I just came back and um, he did like a general checkup as like... Um, checking my pulse whatever some tests i have no idea like listening to my lungs and stuff like that but unfortunately they couldn't do or couldn't take my blood because i had had something to drink and to eat and no one told me on the phone that i was not supposed to do that so i just had normal breakfast because i am going to the office so yeah that was a little bit stupid but he said it's not a problem i will just have to come back again on wednesday to just take tests and there's a little part that i will have to pay myself to check like the vitamin deficiencies but again i'm just prioritizing my health this year so this is what i'm doing and i actually really really like this doctor he's very you know friendly welcome opening etc so really good doctor and i'm glad to you know keep coming to him now it is time to go to work and uh, don't be fooled by my sunglasses and this beautiful sunny weather it is beautiful and it is very sunny but it is also freezing i am at work and it's my lunch break and i thought to show you something because it was a nice little surprise we actually got another package of au la l'aqua at work as like a present because as i told you in some vlog a few weeks ago that this is a brand that was produced by us or our flavors and uh, the last time when i bought also the water drop i bought um cucumber flavor and this time this is a bitter lemon flavor and since i didn't give you like a proper review or can tell you you know about this um now is the time to do that i have to say already the brand itself i like this one more than water drop because it is easier to do or not easier but quicker since this is not like in a pill form it is a liquid and one of these packs should be enough for five to six hundred milliliters so also not something that i would drink all day every day because it can get quite expensive but for once in a while to get like a flavor it is quite nice and what I like is that it is instantly ready and it's easy to throw into the bag. Let's do a little taste test together. This time I mixed it with um, sparkling water to have it as a lemonade effect. Oh, and this one is good. This has a very clear lemon flavor. Oh yeah. Really like that. I can say that this one is already much better. And if we look at the back, there is literally zero calories, zero fat, zero everything. The ingredients are water, lemon juice concentrate and natural flavoring. So nothing bad. And again, this is a Munich brand. So if you live in around in or around Munich, it's always cool to support local brands, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, you can buy them at Rossmann. This is not a paid advertisement or anything, but I think it is quite interesting and quite cool. And that's my review. It is now after work. I'm done with working and I'm on my way to the gym. Here is a quick outfit of the day. 
very comfy. Ooh, what is happening here? Very cozy. But now I'm off to the gym and I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Hello and welcome to Tuesday. And I have been feeling so like tired today. It is already after work, but I didn't do anything before work, which is why I didn't show you anything. And I just came home and I feel like so fried or like my brain is so fried. I can't really think or I don't know. It's a weird, uh, weird feeling. And um, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing all these blood tests and things, because I don't think that I should be feeling like this uh, as often as I am. Granted, I think the weather is also really weird in Munich these past few months. It goes so much up and down. Yeah, I guess I'm at the age where you feel the weather, whatever that means. And uh, to kind of combat it all, since I have a day off from the gym, I thought I will go to yoga later in the evening. It starts at 6 p.m. Yeah, right now I'm actually going to catch up on Hello. on some work and uh, today is laundry day. Actually in our place every day is laundry day, but uh, we have been putting it off for a while. And uh, since we have a little laundry basement, maybe I will show you that to kind of fill up the vlog. And um, yeah, it's nothing beautiful or aesthetic, but still I always find it fascinating how people have it in their buildings. So come and do laundry with me. Alrighty, I just got changed for my yoga class and I am in the basement and oh god the lights um, yeah our washing machine is actually not in our apartment which we very much like because it doesn't take up any space you can wash the laundry pretty much 24 7 because it doesn't disturb the neighbors because it is in the basement no one can hear it but the good thing is that we still have our own washing machine so it's not like a shared washing situation we wouldn't want to have that and uh, if that was the case we would have definitely put our washing machine up to the apartment um, but yeah like I said it is in the basement the hallway is always pretty creepy if it is dark but I have gotten used to it and uh, yeah let's just step in like I said it's not aesthetic but as you can see every single neighbor has their own washing machine which is very nice and this one is ours and preparing we have a nice Bosch machine that we bought second hand some people have their own dryers but uh, it damages the clothes quite a lot so we just air dry it and in addition to that room there we also have a drying room <coughs> that is equally very unesthetically pleasing but very useful as you can see people hang their clothes all over I just have to go through this like a jungle and this is our rack here so we decided to leave our clothes out here as well um, because everyone does it and then we don't have constantly clothes hanging around and things like that and um, yeah I really like it I do forget sometimes that the clothes are hanging here and then they are here for way too long but uh, it's fine I mean we have our own rack so it's not a big deal and uh, yeah this is it this is our basement situation oh there's a car now I'm going to the garage let me know if this whole laundry thing is how you expected we live in an old house so of course it's not super glamorous but now I'm gonna go to yoga and I will see you tomorrow and I'll give you some more exciting updates, hopefully. Hello and happy Wednesday. I am starting my Wednesday again, same way as I did on Monday, except today I'm walking to the doctor's office and I'm going to uh, kind of catch up with the things that I didn't do on Monday which is like a blood test they have to do a urine test as well some like heart EKG etc so some important things and I'm really hoping that the results will show something interesting because yeah I have just not been feeling like myself I'm not scared to take blood or anything like that I used to do that quite often 
for my doping tests actually and I'm also not sensitive at all so I consider myself very lucky in that case. I know that there are people who are you know terrified of needles, blood, etc. But I'm really not and uh, yeah like I said I'm more actually excited to do that because I want to know what is happening with my body. I'm suspecting a few different things but suspicion is one thing and having it confirmed is a totally different thing. And yeah, after the doctors, I'm gonna go back home. I'm working from home today, which is a great, you know, convenience. Uh, so yeah, I'll keep you updated a bit later. See you after my doctor's appointment. Alrighty, I am out from the doctors and the whole procedure took around 15 minutes. But anyway, I'm happy that it's done. It is over me and the doctor will actually call me tomorrow and uh, tell me the results on the phone um, so that I don't have to come to the office once again. And uh, yeah, I feel like a real adult doing all of these doctor appointments by myself. There is no mommy next to me who is talking for me or asking questions. I have to do it myself. And uh, now I'm on my way back home, back to work and uh, now I can finally have some breakfast as well. Hello, it is way way later, I think it's like five hours later since uh, the last time I updated. I went to the gym during lunchtime which was very productive and I feel like this way I have no excuses, the gym is empty and by the time that I'm in the evening tired I'm already done with all of my things. I have 10,000 steps already with all my walking to the doctor. So today is like a tick off from uh, movement and I'm very happy about it. And uh, to quickly kind of sum up the day, I want to show you also a few new skincare products that I will be starting to use because I haven't been very happy with my skin lately. I have some bumps and rednesses and things like that. And I also have just been using basic uh, moisturizer and nothing else. So I'm adding a few things to my routine. First and most importantly, uh, sun protection. This is SPF uh, 50 and this is like a new thing from Garnier, um, niacinamide and zinc um, addition. And it's supposed to mattify and visibly uh, reduce the appearance of pores which is good and of course it protects from the sun. I haven't been very good with sun protection so I'm excited to start using it and hopefully because of all these extra promises I will be better at it. Then I also have a slow aging serum from No Cosmetics and uh, this is supposed to be used um, mornings and evenings uh, before the moisturizer and it uh, fades wrinkles and increases plumness. And again, it's not like I have a lot of wrinkles, but I'm definitely seeing my skin change and uh, get older, I guess. So I just wanna reduce that. And I also bought a retinol serum from No Cosmetics as well. And this one is supposed to improve the look of fine lines and wrinkles to tighten and repair. And you only use a few drops at night and maximum four times a week. But you have to start really slowly because not everyone is used to retinol. Um, and I heard a lot of good things. I'm a fan of No Cosmetics since the last time I tried their um, beauty oil. And uh, I really liked it. The price range is good. Seems like the products and the quality is good. I'm not a big expert on it, but I'm excited. So if you are interested... Um, drop me a comment in a few weeks to see how it's going or if you notice my glowing skin in a few weeks then definitely let me know and uh, to, yeah I have other products at home that I am of course gonna use extra with it and that was it for Wednesday tomorrow is an office day so I will see you again then welcome to Thursday and as always it's an office day so I'm gonna show you my outfit I have added this headband and I feel like it's really giving a little bit of like color and pop and I'm absolutely loving it. I don't know how to film myself so up close. Underneath I have a simple basic black turtleneck and a black blazer but it has these beige buttons so it kind of ties up with the headband and then underneath that I have my 
comfy knitted uh, pants. So it's a little bit of a mix of like corporate slash comfy. Our office is very chill with dress code, so even this is actually quite dressed up. And uh, I will pair it with some sneakers and yeah, that's kind of it. I'm off to the office. Let's get to work. It is now the evening. I was like, what's happening? <laughs> A vlog is happening. Na super. With the nice outfit you don't film me, but now... <laughs> yeah, that's the real life unfilter. Oh, don't you know how my vlog is called? Uh, I had a real shitty day at work. And uh, now I'm back home. I was, wanted to go to yoga, but I just cancelled because I just want to chill at home. And as a little mood uplifter, we got ourselves sushi and poke bowl and wakame. That's why the cats are around here, because they love all of the fishy things. And uh, we're gonna enjoy dinner. I love sushi. Sushi is my favorite food. I could eat it literally almost always. So here it is. Let me show you. It's actually from Eat Happy, which is uh, yeah from a supermarket <coughs> brand, but it's really good. Here's mine. Take your hand away, please. Here's the poke bowl, here's another sushi, here's wakame, here's gluten-free soy sauce, here's a fresa, here's another fresa. <laughs> so, we're gonna enjoy and see you tomorrow. Hello, it is Friday and uh, yeah, my mood is much better today than it was yesterday, partly because I slept out, I started work a bit. Uh, later than usual at 8 30 and not like before 7 like I've done all the time and I'm working from home which is always a nice environment I love working by myself and I feel much more focused etc and right now it's actually my lunch break and I came to pick up a really exciting package it's huge and as you can see it is from Oisho and uh, by the time you are watching this video, I have probably already posted the unboxing. Um, so another additional video for me, how proud I am. Uh, no, I ordered some um, sports leggings because I've been definitely needing some. All of mine have either holes or they have become see-through or, you know, literally hanging by a thread and uh, since there are some good deals still going on I thought I will use this opportunity and unfortunately there is no Oisho store in Germany only an online shop so it's always a little bit risky but I love Oisho the most um, I have so many things I think it's a Spanish brand or I know it's a Spanish brand and I absolutely love their quality design and uh, price point is good as well so yeah if you are curious go check that video out um, and there will be another fashion video coming up soon and I will have to pick up that package as well. I always order packages to a package shop because we are never home when they are delivering and then it's always so complicated to like track where the package is etc. So that's just easier. Uh, now I'm going to quickly jump into the shop. I want to buy some matcha because I'm, I ran out and I'm addicted to matcha. Um, and yeah, so let's go unpack. I'm excited to see, try it on. I'm a little bit of a shopaholic, so anything new is uh, always exciting. I am back home from the gym and I actually filmed a quick video, a fashion video. Actually, I filmed two videos today, one before gym and one after gym. And uh, I'm really proud of myself that there's even more content coming to this channel because um, yeah, I've, it's been hard to produce, but somehow this year I just feel inspired. And uh, behind me you can see it's uh, the video where I choose different ski suits. And um, I have never had a ski suit before, so it's... Oh my goodness. <laughs> so it's not like an easy choice for me to do. They are also super expensive and it's an investment that you will have for such a long time. So I'm definitely trying to be mindful and uh, choose the best one. There are a lot of great options, but at the same time, there's not that many options online. I definitely want the onesie. If you have any suggestions or if you saw the video, 
uh, where I think I will post it actually after this, so it's coming up. Uh, go watch that video and let me know down in the comments which one do you prefer, if you have any tips, etc. It's always welcome. And now there is a pure chaos behind me. Here is, oh goodness, all the papers from the orders. Um, this is, the, by the way, the stool that or the box that I had to stand on so you can see me in full length. Here are the ski suits. Here are actually all the games that were initially in the box. Here's another box. Here's clothes. Here's one cat. Here's another cat. Here's my vanity. So yeah, it's definitely a little chaotic. Yo, oh my goodness, she is so pretty and so cute, but it's hard to get her on camera because she is rather shy compared to this one who is in every single vlog. Um, but yeah, this is my Friday for today. Uh, we're just gonna have dinner. Xava should be home soon, hopefully. Um, nothing fancy happening and actually I'm gonna go to bed quite early because tomorrow is an early day, exciting day because we are having our first uh, digital creators meetup and I'm very excited for it. So I wanna be like feeling good, prepared, etc. So um, that's it, see you tomorrow. Hello and happy Saturday. And as you can see, I am in the city center and I'm here super early. So it's very empty and uh, not a lot of people, which is a good thing. And uh, today is the big day because we are doing the creators meetup that I have been talking about. And uh, we are meeting with Maggie a little bit earlier to set everything up, to take pictures beforehand and, uh, you know, be ready to welcome people on time because, uh, yeah, hopefully everyone will be on time. Yeah, we are here in Odeonsplatz and the location is very, very beautiful. I will show you later on. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited if I haven't told you already like 10 times. I think it will be such a cool event and this is just the first one, the beginning of new things and uh, yeah, I'm excited. So uh, I'm here a little bit early. Unfortunately, I had to come with the S-Bahn and uh, instead of normal 23 minutes that it takes me to get to the city center, it took me an hour because of course no trains are working properly. I uh, had to change three times and in the end I just walked for 25 minutes from the main station because it was just so crowded, nothing was happening or like nothing was going, it was overcrowded, chaotic and since the weather is beautiful and it's not so cold, I thought I will get some steps in and walk. But yeah, now I'm about to meet with Maggie, so I will give you some updates later on. <laughs> I already see someone coming. <laughs> yeah. Alright, our event just ended and uh, it is way busier now and the sun is out and it's absolutely beautiful and I am absolutely buzzing with so many emotions, feelings and uh, I'm so happy that we did this event and uh, we met so many interesting people that I would definitely not have met uh, under any other circumstances and uh, this just gives me and us more motivation to do things, to create, to inspire each other. Maggie, how did you like our event? It was awesome, it was a huge success and we should do it again. <laughs> we will. <laughs> And uh, yeah, now we are actually heading to a different place, to a flea market, to have fun, but also to scout maybe for potential different locations for our events. Although this location was already awesome. <laughs> yes, but it's always good to have options, yes. maybe if we have more people coming. Yeah. And uh, I'm one of the first times in Munich <laughs> public transport. Oh, at yeah, least true. in six it's months or so. Okay, I will show you the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting experience. <laughs> I am 
am now back home and it was such a long day. I have 16,000 steps and uh, yeah, we went to have a quick lunch with Maggie and celebrated and you know talked about the event, more ideas, more exciting things and I am so exhausted now but in a good way because I just had so many different interactions and so many good impressions and as an introvert I think I have to process it all now and take a little bit of time with myself and to you know chill and process and just recharge my batteries by myself. Here is my cat and uh, yeah actually we are going to dinner now uh, just to a place near home. But I'm not going to take you with there. Um, so I'll see you tomorrow for the last day of the vlog. It's going to be an interesting one. Hello, it is Sunday morning and we are on our way to pick up Xava's grandma. And then we are actually going to drive to her village. Can we say it's a yeah. village or? It's a village. It's around. Germany, you call it Kaff. Okay, it's like around an hour drive away and uh, I think we will have lunch somewhere on the way or maybe there. Nothing is planned. And yeah, Xava has great news today. He lost two and a half kilos and he's so happy about it. <laughs> At least one person in our relationship is losing weight. The one that isn't actively trying to do so, <laughs> as always. And yeah, the weather is somehow weirdly grey but at least it's not too cold. Do you have anything else to update? Yeah. And here we have arrived. It is not quite the village where his grandma lives, but not far. And we are going to have lunch. And as you can see, the beautiful, beautiful mountain view. And supposedly here in the Franzmarkt Mark Museum, is some good restaurant. Here they are getting ready and uh, I'm sure there will be some Bavarian food so let's see what they have. Unfortunately, the restaurant here at the museum was closed, but we went to the museum itself and unfortunately I realized more and more that I'm not really a museum person. I don't know how to appreciate art, especially modern art. Uh, but it was still nice, very beautiful views as you saw and the mountains do have some different kind of... Uh, vibe and it's nice to get out of the city sometimes and of course to spend time with Xava's grandma but now we are going to find some lunch spot somewhere around here because we are all really hungry we haven't had breakfast or anything so something Bavarian is probably coming on the way <laughs> It is the evening and I'm with the boys, Mr. Xava and Janis. This is your first appearance on my vlogs. True, very true. You have come from far, far away, three hours away. Oh, it's so far away. It's incredible. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's super far away. To <laughs> Munich because we are going to a concert on a Sunday evening, super random, but yes. Uh, actually, I'm more of a third wheel with the boys because they are the real fanboys. Yeah. I, I don't know almost any songs. But I think it will still be fun. Oh, it's so windy. We get to learn them tonight. <laughs> yes. But first we are going to get some Thai food because we are very hungry. And next time you'll see us raving at the concert. Raving. 
Aren't you gonna rave? What are you gonna do if you not rave? <laughs> Dance, scream. Here. Do the same with you. 